So today I have a new thing that I tried. I want to share it with you. I went and I bought this conditioner. This is Suave Everlasting Sunshine infused with passion flower and vanilla extracts. This is conditioner. And of course when I was at the store I looked at the back, I looked at the ingredients and it's good to go. It doesn't have sulfates. It doesn't have petroleum. It doesn't have any bad alcohols. Um, and it doesn't have any silicones, okay? Now, it does have cetyl alcohol, which is one that's okay, okay? So this is a good product to put on your hair. I use this today to wash my hair. I didn't use any shampoo. I used this conditioner, squirted it all over my scalp, rubbed, 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 rinsed really well, and um, used it to wash my hair today. Then, when I was all done in my shower, my hair was still wet, I just, you know, got out the few extra drops of water, and then I reapplied this on my hair as leave-in conditioner. I probably put a whole handful, okay? So I literally filled the whole palm of my hand, and I took a couple globs at a time to divvy it up into different sections. I had my head turned completely upside down, and I was just smoothing the product through my hair, and getting it kind of divided into sections as I was doing it just so that I could really get it evenly dispersed on there really thick. It is very thick and then I squished to condition, which is what it's called. So I just scrunched my hair while all that conditioner was in there and flipped my head back and I just put a couple pins in so that I could get the extra body right there on the front. Um, I thought that doing this today would show you what my hair looks like with nothing in it. Well, it's not exactly nothing in it because I did use my leave-in conditioner. Not only that, but I put it on very thick. Okay, so this step is very important. And that's all I did. That is it. I used one product to wash my hair as a leave-in, and then that's it. I didn't have to add gel. I didn't have to add hairspray. I didn't have to add any special curling cream or curling activator. This is it. And you know that this is not an expensive brand. It's a nice big bottle. Okay, so my hair is completely dry. And as you can see, it has a cast. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's just, it's not even like that crunchy, just a little bit. Um, I'll show you the back. Um, it looks a little different than it did on other days that I've done my hair with my three products, but it still looks okay. Now, it is time to scrunch out the crunch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip my hair to the side, and it's, it's kind of stuck like with my part, which is fine. Um, if I wanted a little bit of extra body, I could turn it completely upside down. I think I might be able to. This necklace, I'm going to take this off. <laughs> okay. Start by shaking and just loosening up some of the hair at the roots. Kind of getting that in the direction that you want. And then scrunch. It looks like it's sticking out all over and it's crunchy, and it is. And as soon as I scrunch it a little bit more, it's going to get soft. And the reason I have my head turned upside down... Oh, I still have that pin in my hair. Let me take that out. There we go. And turning my head upside down helps it to get more body. Just kind of squeeze real hard. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Unless you're my daughter. And then you'll be screaming the whole time. <laughs> my hair feels really soft. To be completely honest, though, not that this matters, but I'm seeing white flakes fall down and I think it's from the conditioner um, flaking off my hair, which is really weird because when I use the other conditioner, it never did that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's from the hair, not my scalp. I hope so. Okay, so. And. Whoa. I think it has 
good amount of body here on the back. I didn't have to really fluff that out. These curls on this side really got big. And it's, it's very soft. I think I could easily run my fingers through my hair if I really wanted to. Which is a good thing. Because you don't want it to feel greasy. You don't want it to feel tacky or like there's a lot of product. I know that for people who have thinner hair um, or hair that tends to get weighted down with product, that this would be a good a good product for you. Okay, My hair can handle a lot of product. It really can. But I can tell that this one is going to be a lighter weight product. And it's going to save you some money. So if you're saying to yourself, do I really have to have that many products? Do I have to have expensive products? No. You could do everything you need with this one. So I'm really happy about this. Um, I hope you can tell that I got good results. Um, I don't think that it looks exactly the same as when I did the other products, but I do like that it's more touchable and everything. So the next um, test of this will be to see how long it lasts. Meaning can I sleep on it and touch it up the next day and still have it just as voluminous, still have the curl spring right back. That's something to consider so that gives you another idea and it tells, it lets you know um, how this other product works. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Bye.